What is one of the things that every Warframe player strives for? They put their blood, sweat, and tears into hours and hours on end of just pure and utter grinding. Level cap. Yes, that is the true end game of Warframe. You get to level cap and it's just like... What's next? Now come along with me and let's talk about the top three frames that make level cap super easy. Number one, Revenant Prime. Yes, of course Revy Boy will be on this list. He is unequivocally and utterly invulnerable. And plus he is the latest Prime frame at the moment. So he is quite easy to obtain. Nice. Okay, so let's talk about him. Firstly, here is the build that I have designed. You want to go for quite a bit of strength and a bit of duration. Now I have made two variants of this, one with Blind Rage, one without. If you have Arcane Energize, go with the one with Blind Rage because you have better energy sustain. If you don't have Arcane Energize, go with the one without. He still works fine either way. Now, how to play Revenant? It's simple. He works as follows. Press 1 to make minions. Those minions then make other enemies your minions and sit back and watch your army grow. Press 2 for invulnerability, basically these charges that you get from your second ability keep you invulnerable and as you take damage you will burn through these charges. But you can just keep recasting and you can be good to go, you will stay invulnerable and also you are immune to knockback which is really good. This is a long animation for this ability, that is why we use natural talent. Press 3 to cast enemies and sap their life away. This damage is enhanced for enthralled enemies. Now pair your 1 and 3 combined to do a metric ton of damage against level cap enemies and also Thraxes as well. It's a super easy way to kill level cap enemies. Now his fourth well, it's not that great on level cap. So if you can, subsume over raw. Raw is the best option here because that pairs with your third ability and makes your third ability do more damage. Or you can use Zarta's Whisper or you can use armor stripping abilities or you can use Gloom. You choose what you want here. It's your game. Great. Review boy done. Number two, Ash Prime. I'm going to say Ash because, well, he is the ninja of Warframe and he is very strong. A bit glass cannony, but still very good. Build. You want to go for as high duration as possible and high strength because you subsume over Zarta's Whisper onto your third ability. Yes, Zarta's Whisper is expensive, but you're doing level caps, so you can't expect to do the literal end game of Warframe on the cheapest budget, except for something later on in the video. Now, I use Equilibrium here because in my opinion, the energy sustained for Ash is quite a struggle. This is from my experience, especially when doing Void Cascade, even with Arcane Energize. I feel like it's just a struggle, but this is just my opinion and my playstyle. You may change this out for something else and you can change it to your playstyle. Seeking Shuriken is a must here. For armor stripping, you absolutely need it. And I go handspring because I am prime sure what it looks. How to play him? Simple. Press 2 for invulnerability. Press 1 to armor strip the Thraxes or Demolus. Make sure Zarta's Whisper is up and use a slash based weapon like the Fenma and shred everything. You don't really use his force for this build, so don't bother, it's a waste of energy. Conserve your energy, my good tenor. Number three, take a guess. Guess what it is, I'm gonna give you two seconds. Well, you know the answer, it's Octavia Prime. Yes, the strongest frame in the game that no one plays. And that is a 100% correct true fact. She is the infinite damage scaling frame, and here is her build. Now, this is a pretty expensive build because I have Shuriken subsumed, but Ash is a lot easier to farm nowadays, to be fair. But this build here is designed for you to solo level cap Void Cascade on Steel Path. Yes, it takes quite a bit of investment, but however, you don't need the Shuriken subsume because quite frankly, Octavia is so freaking strong, you don't need to use any subsume. You can just use her normal kit. It works perfectly fine. Otherwise, you can armor ship with Thara Strike. Please do not use Terrify. Otherwise, you're literally contradicting yourself because then you will not be able to scale off your one because the enemies will not shoot your first ability. And that's where Octavia gets all of her damage from. In fact, Octavia is so strong that you actually need to only put like one or two former and she's good to do level cap. How to play her simple. Press one, two, and three and break your fingers while you smash the control button and you acquire the carpal tunnel. Stay in viz and just watch everything die. Great, now you have everything you need to do level cap. But wait, there's more. 
Let's just go over very quickly everything you need to do to equip yourself to do level cap comfortably. Firstly, the frames that I mentioned are great picks. However, you don't need to actually pick these exact frames. There are many frames out there that can go to level cap no problem with the right team and right synergies. But let's go over stuff that you need to use for yourself. Any way of armor stripping is absolutely needed. It will make your life infinitely easier. Armor stripping makes level cap an absolute joke. Next, get a weapon that can do big boy damage, namely the Fenmar, Felox, Leighton, Glaive, Serata, etc, etc. This is late game weapons I know, but you're doing late game content. I will make a video on this at a later stage. Next, have some survivability. Invisibility is your best defense. Plus, have Rolling Guard. That is a must. It removes status effects and makes you invulnerable for 3 seconds when maxed. Now, the next thing that gets you the most in level cap is two things. One, getting caught in the crossfire and two, knockdown. Knockdown resistance is really one of the main things that gets you killed in level cap because you're mainly running in viz frames. So, Inaru is a good pick here to do because you can use poise. However, this is difficult when you're doing Void Cascade level cap as you need Madara for the Thraxes. Next, a Panzer. Just, just get a Panzer. Trust me. Trust in flow. Just get a Panzer. Believe in me, this thing literally never dies. Good stuff. This is a brief overview of what you need and I will elaborate this on a future video. Now, do me and yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button and like the video. It really helps the channel out. Goodbye, my fellow tenor. I shall see you soon.